Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Joan from the Brown Dragonfly. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you my latest um, project that I finished. It is um, a journal using Natalie's um, Follow Your Heart journal kit from Line.Arrow. Um, in the Facebook group last month we did um, have a challenge um, based on the idea of travel. Um, and so I've been working with this kit and I have finished a journal and I wanted to share it with you. Um, this journal has um, three signatures. It is 108 pages. Um, I made it using some packaging. Um, it's not Amazon packaging, it was something um, actually that a friend of mine had, um, a dress came in it, and as soon as I saw the package at her house, I said, uh, I think that I need that uh, packaging. Um, so she immediately emptied it and gave it to me. So that's what the base is for this journal. Um, then I went around the edges and used craft um, packing paper um, and folded over the edges to kind of reinforce it. Um, I have a page um, from the from the kit that I used for the front and the back, um, sewed around it, then glued it on. Um, and then I used um, some decoupage to cover the outside and the inside. Um, I used a piece of atlas to cover the spine or um, just to help reinforce the spine. And on the inside, I used a piece as well. So let's just go ahead and get started on this. Um, I will, this is a big journal um, with the three signatures. It does measure eight by six with a two inch spine. Um, and I will try to go through some of it quickly. Um, as usual, I do like my journals to have a lot of writing space. So I will kind of pass by some of those pages and just to show you some of the ephemera that I have in. Um, so anyway, this is all um, from the kit. I use some coffee dyed paper. Um, I use map pages. I also took some pages from an atlas um, that I had and I made some pockets out of it. So these are some tags um, from the kit. These were really nice papers to work with. Um, here I just tore a piece of um, Atlas. Um, this is a page from the kit and I just printed an extra one so I could make a tag with it. Um, this is um, a card I made for the challenge um, where we just um, talked about a place that we went or a place near your home and just kind of shared it with the group so we could all um, see some different places this summer. I do have um, several vintage um, post postcards in this uh, journal. Um, this is from 1956. It's from Arizona. Um, this is another pocket I made with um, the index from an atlas. Um, there are two postcards here. This one's from 1948, and it's uh, Garden of the Gods, which I actually went to just a couple years ago. My daughter lives there. Um, and this one, I guess, is Geneva. And I don't, this is old, but I don't know, um, I don't know what year it's from. And then in the kit in the back, the one, or some one of the last few pages, there was some, I think where the pages were, this might have even been a freebie, maybe one of the freebies, and they were two to a page. So I just printed it on cardstock and folded it to make um, just a little card. Um, it has a tag inside. And here's that same page you just saw. Some of my maps are upside down because this side is the correct way, but I'm not worried about that. 
Um, this is um, a page from the kit that I just folded to make a pocket. Um, so I made this card from one of the pages. This is one of the tags in the kit. And then this is a little envelope in the kit and it just has a little card in it. You can journal on that if you want. See, these are just beautiful pages. I print mine on presentation paper and they just turn out beautifully. Um, this is a large tag in the kit that wraps around. I just glued it to make a belly band here and then on this side I left open to um, use as a tuck. These are three tags that come in the kit and I just hinged them together with some washi um, just to make some extra space to journal on. Another pocket. Um, this is from Verona, this um, postcard. This just has a tag and a little ticket piece. See, that's so beautiful. And then I use this postcard as a pocket. Um, this postcard is from London. It's from 1928. The, it got sent to Germany and it's in German so I can't read it. Um, and then this is just tags that I put a brad on so you can um, journal on all of it in the back. And then this was just a piece of ephemera that came with the kit. It was um, flat like this, and it, I believe, is a schedule for trains or something. So I just folded it so you have a little extra spot for journaling. And this postcard is from Amsterdam, and I'm not sure when this was. Um, there's a 42 here. I don't know if that what that means. I'm not sure, but this is an old one as well. And I just made a tuck back here. And this is one of the pieces of ephemera in the kit, so I just made a um, pocket out of it. So we just have this tag from the kit, and then this is one of the tickets. And then this is another. Um, pocket that I made from the map page um, and then this opens up so you have some extra writing space here. Um, this postcard is from, I don't know, another Italian one. And this is another little card that opens. This is from Colorado. It's an older one also. And then here is a pocket. This is from Colorado also. The two tickets that come with the kit. And then this is another page from the kit that I folded to make um, a pocket. Um, and this is um, one of the pages in the kit that had the long um, ticket on it. And so I just cut it around to make um, a tag for this spot. And then this is um, an envelope. I just kept it open so that you could write in it. So I have that tucked here. Another pocket. Um, I looked this up and um, I believe this is from the Netherlands also and it's from 1946. Um, I could read this and it does talk about it's two people writing to each other. 
uh, and he says that he's finished with his service and that he, he tells him where he's staying now. Um, so I was wondering, since it's right after World War II, if that's what it was um, from. Or actually, maybe it's Switzerland. Um, yeah, that's a Swiss Alps. I did look it up. Um, and then here's another tag from the kit. And then this is another pocket that I made with some Atlas page, the index. Um, this is um, a card from the kit I just embellished. And this is from 1949. Um, this is a postcard from Oregon. And I did use two pages. Um, Natalie has a kit um, about the Netherlands. Um, and so I did use two pages from that in here. This is one of them. Um, then I took a um, junk mail envelope um, and I hinged it on here. Um, I used index page from a map um, from an atlas to do that. Um, and then this is covered with um, washi tape. And then I, this is from the page in the kit, a page in the kit, and I just cut it down um, to make a card. And so the word journey would show through the pocket here, or the window. And then here's two pockets I did together. I had to make a little tiny short tag to fit in there. Everything else kind of kept falling out. These are two tags. And then this is another pocket, just has a couple cards. Um, these postcards, this is from um, Budapest, and it's in another language. Um, I'm not sure what year this one's from. And this is from the US, it's from Beaver Dam. It's in Colorado. And then this is just another card that I made for the challenge in the group. And then we're at the end. So thank you for stopping by and taking a look. Um, I will link this kit in the description below. Um, it will be for sale in my um, Etsy shop. And I thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you like what you see, please um, subscribe and like and comment. I would like to hear what you have to say. And um, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.